Spider-Man, Spider-Man, radioactive Spider-Man. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffinus, and today we'll be unboxing the Marvel Legends Retro Series Spider Man. And I'm so psyched. Janelle, say hello to everyone there in the internet world. Hello. Today we'll be unboxing this, and you know where you can get this at? www.dstartoys.com. That's where you can get this at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures that are only going for $22.99. So get them while you can. We are. Looking at these today, we're going to go over paint detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And also, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos. One little thing before we jump into these, let's look at this. Yay, FedEx! Awesome, right? <laughs> Smashing my figures! Woo! Uh, I happened to pick out all the figures when I got these to sell at the store and picked out the ones that were like really bad. See? <laughs> Look at Peter Parker. Oh no! They got smashed, uh, and I'm sad. The no, look at look at poor Daredevil. Look at Matt Murdock. Yeah, look at Mac Murdock. Does he deserve that? That's messed up. That's messed. And everyone like that. Uh, Electro looked like he turned out okay. All of them did it. No, majority of them looked like they got smashed. Just look at this. Look, look at that. So I'm just gonna open these ones up. I'm taking the bullet for you guys. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna see how it is. Let me know down on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 who is going to be open first. You know, tell us who is going to be open first. First one that pops up in the chat. Who's going to go first? Who is first? Is it Spider Man? Is it Electro? I don't know. Electro. All right. We're going with Electro. Me and the boys. The Electro of me and the boys. We're going to open this one up. First, he is the first one. Let's go to Top Cam, Janelle. Let's go to Top Cam. Now the issue I've always had with these retro series, hun, is since they are on a card, they're kind of difficult they're to, so open. Hard to they're open. They're very difficult to open, I like even with this. Kid. I'm like poking and stuff like that. Okay, you know what? We're we're we need to we need this to maximize been, our time. This is the novelty time. of our childhood. <laughs> it's like yeah, blister packs. Blister packs are amazing. I need something to cut these. And I don't know, so I'm just gonna take out my Gundam nippers, sure. Oh my gosh, that's not even gonna work. You know what? I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. Everyone's like, oh no, the box! No, these toys are meant to be opened and played with, okay? And the box is messed up anyway. Let's look at Electro here. Let's look at paint and detail. Let's go to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with. Alright, look at this. Janelle, look at this face. I have you now, Spider-Man! Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I just want to pose these for yeah. me and the boys. <laughs> yeah, well, we're missing a rhino, uh, a vulture, and who else? Uh, rhino, vulture, Electro is part of the boys, and we're missing one more. Someone tell me down in chat. Green but anyway, Goblin, right? Yeah, Green Goblin. Oh, so we do have Green Goblin. We're just yeah. missing rhino and, uh, and vulture. So anyway, there you have it. This is Electro. You want your me and the boys set? Here you go. This Electro is perfect. Let's look at that. Beautiful, right? $22.99, dstartoys.com. Got that beautiful yellow, green, everything like that. He has the thin body set. Uh, usually they have like a mold that is just like standard. This one is the thinner mold for that body set and we have nice muscles and everything like that. And yeah, I have to say, it looks like Electro. What else could you ask for? The Retro series is usually pretty simple. They don't put too many like accessories, different heads and whatnot. They just give you a nice, good looking, figure that looks just like the character. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Janelle, what do you think? Like I said, this is just like straight out the meme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and the boys opening up Spider-Man toys. So there you have it. That's it when it comes to paint and detail. I have to say there's nothing wrong. I can't even find any real mishaps. I think, here we go. Here's some QC issues right here. Let's look at the QC issue right here. Looks like we have some frayed plastic right here. Again, for the price point, this is something that will happen probably to you, maybe, I don't know, but to mine. It isn't a big deal to me because let's face it, these toys are meant to be played with, especially the Marvel Legends series. These are definitely meant to be played with. 
All right, let's go into articulation and scale. We're just going through this. Let's see how tall this guy is at the very top of his mast there. We're looking at seven inches tall. We gotta compare it with other action figures. We have a UI Goku, which are giveaway action figure. SH Figure Arts, Superman from the DC Multiverse. So these two look like they work really well. And if you wanna mash the X-Men, Marvel Legends of X-Men, here's Cyclops. So there you have it. Okay, so let's go into articulation. We have up and down here at the ankle. Looks like we have a rotation there at the shin. Always welcome, I love that uh, shin articulator. Double joint knee, ball joint here at the crotch. Of course, ab crunch right there. And we have a waist swivel right there, which is clicky. Let's hear that. Let's hear that clickiness. Yep, that is a clicky waist swivel right there, as well as a clicky um, ab crunch. We have, that's also a clicky shoulder joint right there with a bicep swivel right there. And bend at the elbow, double joint elbow right there. And the peg joint here at the wrist and ball joint here at the neck. We can be well above. 20 points of articulation. Let's see if we can get some moves in. We got side kick, front kick, splits. Can you do some crunches? Of course. And of course we have to have, sure you can. And say it with me, hun. I like some punk. Okay, you didn't want to say it with me. Okay, okay, just me, just me. All right, let's look at the accessories here. Janelle, take us to the top can. Let's see what we're looking at here. We're not looking at much. <laughs> You're just looking at electric hands. Ultimate power. And there you have it. And if you're looking for uh, emperor style electric hands, Sith hands, there you have it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's just look at this. Just go to the front cam. And this is really all we're going to look at right now. He doesn't really come with much. So there yeah, you have well, it. Yeah, that's typical of yeah. Marvel Legends. Yeah, that's usually typical of Marvel Legends, especially the retro line. So there you have it. Let's put this guy aside. Let's move on to the next one. We're gonna go into Matt Murdock. This is Daredevil. To my surprise, like I said before, Janelle, let's take us to Top Cam as we open this guy up. To my surprise, this is not based off the animated series because the animated series does not have the um, the metallic armor Daredevil. So this is, I think, this is based more off the comic book. So yeah. All right, take us to front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. It's super metallic. Love the black and red look at this hun look at that metallic finish on the chest armor that is gorgeous wow i have to say this this is probably one of my favorite looking daredevils i have a bunch of daredevils which are just like red and it's nice to see something different with a silver black and red and let's look at the face right there <laughs> looking really cool looking really sad and somber and yeah i have to say the paint detail and everything like this looks really good let's see if we can find some paint mishaps no frayed plastic, no paint mishaps on my end. Janelle, do you see anything? Mm, nothing is popping you, am, am I, Am I blind to it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is so <laughs> <laughs> that, that was messed up. That was really <laughs> That was terrible. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> it's very insensitive towards Mr. Matt Murdock here. Uh, you can say he might take me to court, perhaps. Anyway. That's it when it comes to paint and detail on this guy. I have to say he looks really good. Easily one of my favorite looking Marvel Legends Daredevils. Janelle, what do you think? I really like this finish. It's nice and refreshing to see him in a yeah, different Yeah, it's totally outfit different, <laughs> right. And I really like this one. I think he, out of all of the retro waves too, he has the most accessories. But before we go into accessories, let's see how tall he's standing. We're going into scale and articulation. I think articulation looks like he has all the same points, but we're gonna look at that in a bit. This guy is six and a half inches tall. When it comes to articulation, I think the only thing that's missing, especially in comparison to um, Electro, let me see, let me look at Electro again. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, I think the, <clears throat> excuse me, the only thing that's missing here is that shin swivel. I don't think we, yeah, we do not get a shin swivel. Everything else is here. Let me mess around with them. Yeah, all the articulation points are there. We're looking at 20 points of articulation. Clicky joints and whatnot. And let's get some movement going. Uh, of course, we gotta do some flips. <sighs> okay, and we gotta do some splits. And range of motion on the arms, looking to be really good. Uh, 20 points of articulation, same as Electro. Don't really wanna go too much into that. Janelle, what do you think so far? 
Whew. I really like this toy. Let's see if we can do some breakdance moves. It's almost hard to believe that it's a Marvel Legends. Yeah, I know, right? The finish alone just makes it look cool. <laughs> It, let's do the Ben Affleck Daredevil when he slept. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's look at accessories. Let's go to Top Cam. You know, take us to Top Cam. We have Matt Bur uh, a Matt Murdock uh, head right there with the red glasses. I'm trying to forget that he looks like that. Yeah, that's he what he looks like. And uh, we do get the metallic finish hands for the batons. Uh, we also, this is something also I didn't realize. See if we can get this out. Is we get different cufflinks because if you look at these cufflinks, they have the batons attached to them. So instead of making them detachable, they just give you these. And then of course we have his signature batons with no wire. Usually they come with a wire, but this one, like most of the Marvel Legends uh, Daredevil batons, they come together to make one. So sometimes they have one that's uh, attached to a string, so you know how he shoots it out, hun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it's like. So let's go to the front cam. Let's outfit him real quick in his Matt Murdock head and gear. Let's put this stuff on. Let's see here. How's everyone doing today? Janelle and I are doing fine. Actually, I don't, should I speak for you, Janelle? Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. <laughs> and let's get the Matt Murdock head on. <clears throat> there you go. And you have him with his batons ready to beat up people in Hell's Kitchen. Pop, 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 pop. And yeah, that's how he looks like when he's outfitted. And I'd have to say that looks really cool. Wow. Best Marvel Legends Daredevil? Guys, what do you think? I'd have to say so. Agree or disagree, Janelle? I really like it. Like, yeah. it's, I just can't remember him looking like this in the animated No, series. he's not in the animated. He has the standard red suit in the animated series. Like I said before, I thought this was based off the animated series, but it's not. This is more of a comic book Daredevil um, when he has this I suit. See. So I have to say this one it has the most accessories. And yeah, I'm going to say it right now. This is my current favorite Daredevil figure from Marvel Legends. I'm going to say it. There you go. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. I think we're gonna do Spider-Man last, because we're doing his alter ego. Spoiler alert: <laughs> Peter Parker is Spider-Man. <laughs> Janelle, take us to Top Camp. Let's open this guy up. Let's rip open his damage box. He looks like one of Biff's crew. He <laughs> he kind of does. The one with the glasses, yeah. Biff, Biff from uh, from uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, he totally does. You're you're 100 right on that one. <laughs> Pretty excited about this one. Um, we rarely get a straight Peter Parker action figure. So this is Peter Parker. Pretty standard. Let's look at the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We don't get clear shades. We have these really non-shaded spectacles. But you know what? It doesn't look like we can even... No, we cannot take off the glasses. <gasps> They're glued on. Really? Yeah, they are glued on. Yeah. For everyone who was wondering that, can you take off the glasses? The answer to that question is no, unless you want to ruin your figure. Uh, yeah. You know what? I rarely In the animated series, we barely get to see Peter in his glasses. So, Or actually, very rarely do we see Peter in his glasses. So... You might want to just take them off because you look, look what happens when you pull these up. Look, you have a standard Peter Sorry, Parker face. And yeah. Like why even bother painting the eyes if you were going to keep Yeah, I don't know. I, I think one of the reasons is how art. Let, let me see if I can like pull it off. Yeah. It off. yeah. Let's see. No, those are glued on. Uh, if you look really close to, you can actually see the glue. See right here. See right there. That's the glue. And yeah, no way. Uh, that's kind of a negative for me, guys. I have to say, I was really hoping they were removable, but they're not. Hmm. But let's look at everything else. We have the brown jacket. We have that uh, light blue shirt with the jeans and his uh, white shoes. This is him when he's in reporter mode. And yeah, that is Peter Parker right there. Let's see how tall he's standing. Let's go right into... We're going by really fast, aren't we? Should I slow it down? No. No, I think we're fine. I mean, it's a pretty simple set. You know what I mean? 
Uh, yeah, jacket, everything looks good. Nothing too wrong. Big negative on those glasses before we get into um, articulation scale. Love the face. Love the hair. Don't know why you can't take off the glasses. That's so unfortunate. Anyway, let's see how tall this guy is standing. We're looking at six and a quarter inches. And again, the missing articulation point compared to Electro, which was the first figure we opened, is it does not have that shin swivel. Um, but we do have everything else. But if you look here, you're going to have that uh, sway from side to side on the ankle. And that's really cool right there. I think Daredevil had that too. Uh, yeah, he does. I think all of them have it. They all have that sway from side to side. So you can do stuff like this. See? That's really cool. All the articulation points are there. Clicky joints in the midsection. Of course, you have that swivel there at the thigh, ball joint there. Yeah, we're looking at the same articulation points as most Marvel Legends, well above 20 points. Let's get him in a Spider-Man pose. Spider sense tingling. Oh no. Oh no. Right there. Of course, we gotta do flips. <clears throat> gotta do splits. <clears throat> gotta do kicks. And if anyone played the Spider-Man game for PS1, his kick combo is left kick, right click, and then handstand kick. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, I love that game. One of my favorite Spider-Man games. PlayStation 1, Spider-Man. Play it. It's excellent. Okay, let's go into accessories. Janelle, we're not looking at much. Let's go to Top Cam. Again, very simple. You don't get an assortment of hands. You don't get uh, web shooters. You just get his classic camera. And, of course, his Spider-Sense tingling head. Uh, where we don't get glasses on this one for some weird reason. Because he's wearing his mask. Yeah, well, uh, when he hit Spider-Man, uh, this is why I originally thought this was based off the, the cartoon. Because I believe when his Spider-Sense goes off, he does have the half Spider-Man mask and then that on. That okay, sorry about that, guys. We just had some technical difficulties. I ran out of memory on my memory card. I am so sorry. Let's finish up this review of the Peter Parker. And also I kept going, so I also kept reviewing Green Goblin, didn't realize we ran out of space. So anyway, we're just going to get into that review. Uh, overall, I like this figure. It's not a half bad Peter Parker. Just wish that the glasses uh, would come off of the Peter Parker so we have a glasses-free Peter. But unfortunately, you're going to have to remove it permanently and it could ruin the figure because it is glued on. Overall, not a bad Peter Parker. Let's get into this guy. He's already open. I know. This is an unboxing figure. <laughs> Uh, figure review and he's already open so let's just get into it first and foremost this Green Goblin I think is easily one of the best Green Goblins from uh, Marvel Legends let's look at the paint detail right here look at the mask isn't this just a absolutely beautiful Green Goblin mask lots of detail love the vibrant purple and the green but most importantly look at the dragon scales here on this Green Goblin. It's really nice. Usually we're used to seeing Green Goblin with like smooth skin, uh, especially when it comes to the leggings and arm covers. Uh, but in this case, we have a nice dragon scale right there, which is really nice and textured. Beautiful, vibrant green. Love the purple and everything else like that. To me, this is one of the best looking um, Green Goblins, but here's the issue, and this is when we go into articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. He's standing at about the very top right here we're looking at about seven inches but if you want to go in the head we're looking at six and a quarter the main issue with this guy even though he has all the articulation points as everyone else super articulated and whatnot he cannot sidekick very well I mean this is as far as you're gonna go on that sidekick no matter what you do compared to everyone else let's look at Peter right here he has an awesome sidekick and whatnot this one's a little bit more limiting because of the fact that this right here is a little bit too low and it gets in the way of this kick if this was cut just a little bit more we could have get gotten a better kick and that's about it so that's unfortunate that that's the issue but besides that all their articulation points are here uh, they're super articulated including the shin swivel thigh swivel bicep swivel all this stuff we're looking at 20 points of articulation lots of um, flexibility but he can't do a full splits because of the fact that the bottom part of his uniform or costume is just getting in the way. But that's really not a big deal because you're going to put him on this anyway, right? You're going to put him on his glider. So no good old Norman Osborn right here is going to go on his glider. Now let's look at this. And now we're jumping into accessories. And this glider 
is pretty flat. Uh, I believe the one I have is the U-shaped version. Uh, this one's flat, so now you can stand him like that, which is really cool. I absolutely think that's not bad. I don't mind it flat. Some people like the curved glider look. I personally don't mind either or. But what we have here is a really good looking green goblin. Let's get the Norman Osborn face on here. Just because. <clears throat> and he the scarf comes off. This one was a really tough one to <clears throat> get on. Hold on one second. That ball joint is incredibly tight. <clears throat> My goodness. Okay, so got that on. Gliders off. And there's the Norman Osborne face. Of course, you have that Osborne hair as well. So that looks really cool right there. I have to say, this face is a really nice sculpt. Really, really like that. Uh, last but not least, we do get this uh, Jack o' Lantern, the exploding one that he has. And he holds it really nice in that hand. So accessories wise, I have to say this is really nice because you get this glider, you get a really nice looking Norman Osborn head. Of course, you get the bag and the jack o' lanterns that uh, that blow up. And yeah, definitely a really good Green Goblin. If you're looking for a Green Goblin Spider-Man, um, yeah, from the Spider-Man series, that is a very good one. Now, also in the review that I totally <laughs> didn't didn't film because I ran out of um, space in my card was Gwen Stacy. Let's look at this Gwen Stacy. Now, Janelle and I had an issue with this Gwen Stacy, and for some reason, Marvel Legends always includes this hand. I don't know why they always include this hand for Mary Jane and female figures. It's not a very good hand. I would have preferred like a hand like this, like the one she's holding for the Daily Bugle newsletter. But this is just not a good looking hand. Come on, guys, let's look at that. This is a major issue right here. But besides that, the green jacket, the classic look where she, you know, before she, uh, spoiler alert, dies, um, this is what she wears. So this is something really cool if you're looking for a Gwen Stacy, uh, pre-death, I guess, or death Stacy, this is the one to get. But here's what doesn't make sense, even though it's a really nice face sculpt, we're just going to jump into it even though it's in accessories. For some reason you get a Mary Jane head, I don't know why. I mean, it's a good-looking Mary Jane hand. Just look at that. Beautiful green eyes, beautiful red hair with the nice black highlights. Uh, she never wears something like this, I don't think. Someone in the comments on YouTube let me know. Has she ever worn Gwen Stacy's uniform or, or not uniform or her clothes, something like this in the comics? I don't remember ever seeing her ever dress like this. So I don't know why we have a Mary Jane hand that looks like this. So I would have preferred her if we got the animated series Mary Jane from the 90s where she wears that uh, yellow jacket and the mom jeans. That, that's the Mary Jane I want. But unfortunately, we are not going to get that. But like I said before, this is not based off the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. This is actually just a retro line. So there she is. Um, in terms of paint detail, not bad. I love both of these head skulls. But like I said, why is Mary Jane's head on there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's pull this head off. Let's get Gwen Stacy on here. Let's see how tall she's standing. She's standing at about six inches. Of course, we have to put her next to, oh no, Norman Osborn here. And uh, yep, that's those two together. If you want to put classic Toy Biz Spider-Man together, there you go. Uh, and I guess if you want to put Cyclops, there you go. Uh, also, I don't think I, I, I guess I didn't really do this, but yeah, Norman goes well with most figure most Marvel Legends and other action figures so yeah there you go uh, let's talk about articulation skirt major issue yes this is a problem even with the cut in her skirt right here no side kicks no front kicks whatsoever because this skirt is in the way so pretty much you could just have her move her arms around and that's about it <laughs> yeah no kicks no action poses this is just pretty much a uh, limited figure in terms of articulation even though we do have 20 points of articulation and we are lacking the uh, the what do you call this the shin swivel right there so that would have been nice if we did have that shin swivel but we do not uh, let's look at accessories real quick and uh, I think that's gonna be it for that we're gonna go in accessories because I did finish uh, videoing from there so just like that she's no longer Gwen Stacy 
She's Mary Jane. Mm. <laughs> I, I think this looks okay. It just looks weird because the green jacket is associated with Gwen, so... Not her typical. Yeah, it's sweater. not. And then there she is with the Midtown High School uh, book, right there. And let's put her with the yeah. folder shirt. She's she's also that holding hand. the folder. Yeah, that hand just looks. It's awful. It, it's it's not a favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and so there she is with the newspaper. She's gonna smack someone with it. There you have it. All right, last figure. This is it. The very smashed up box of Spider-Man. Radioactive Spider-Man. Let's look there. <laughs> uh, looks like everyone in the chat's all like, oh no, that Gwen Stacy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with it. It's not my favorite. Uh, but yeah, take us to top camp. Oh, you're already there. My goodness. No, you are on it today. Spider-Man. Based off, I believe, someone correct me, the classic, aka Pizza Spider-Man body. Uh, yeah, and so here we have very, very classic Spider-Man look with the webs and everything like that. The webs aren't like superimposed, is that what I'm trying to say? They're not like out, you can't feel them, they're not textured, they are part of the paint. So there you have it, that's Spider-Man. There you have him with his web shooting hands. I believe he comes with closed fist hands. Thank you. I hate it whenever we get a Spider-Man figure and he has one closed fist and he has one web shooter hand and that's it. And he's not doing this all the time. So I don't know why some Spider-Man figures don't come with both like this one. I'm so glad that we have closed fist hands, which we will look at later in accessories. Let's look at this Spider-Man. Let's look at that. Is that Spider-Man? Oh yeah. Is this one of the best looking Spider-Mans? I have to say, if you're looking for a retro looking Spider-Man, this one's it. I have to say, this one's it. And of course, gotta love that. Look at this. Look at that logo and also the butterfly joints. I love it when Spider-Man figures come with butterfly joints. It just makes sense because he should be super poseable. Is he ever going to be as super poseable as the Toy Biz Spider-Man 2 figure with the individual articulated fingers? Probably not. We'll probably never see a reboot of that figure, but that's okay. Because we have this one, and this one's fine, I have to say. Really nice. Janelle, what do you think? He seems really similar to your favorite Spider-Man. My favorite Spider-Man? Well, my favorite Spider-Man figure is the one with a lot of... I can't seem yeah, to find him Yeah, with articulated right fingers. Let's get him out. Hold on. Let's get him out. But his stomach seems a little concave. Well, that's because he has a different... Um, it's like he's really sucking it in. Yeah. So here you have it. Favorite Spider-Man figure of all time the Spider-Man 2 Toy Biz Spider-Man with like 40 some points of articulation. Ridiculous amount. Unnecessary amount, but I love it. There you have it. Clearly this has been through the ringer. I have played with this figure for almost 17, 18 years. So there you have it. Brand new Spider-Man figure. I have to say the muscle definition always looks good on the Marvel Legends ones. Whereas this one, not so much. But you know what? Still my favorite. And this is not a bad Spider-Man figure at all. No, it's not. No, definitely not. Especially if you love that retro Spider-Man look. Yeah, rock on, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let's see how tall he is. Let's take out this ruler. We're going to go into scale. This guy is standing at six and a quarter. Let's take out Peter right here. So they are the same size, same height, same everything. We have Mary Jane. And there you have it, a.k.a. also... I guess, AKA Gwen Stacy, UI Goku, SH Figure Arts, and Multiverse Superman. And just because he's here, why not? Let's take out like good old one eye here. Articulation, this is the fun part. Oh, it looks like this is the only hero figure that actually has that swivel here at the ankle, as he should, because he's Spider-Man. All the other ones don't seem to have it, and I think that's the only addition. So let's go over everything else. Looks like he, ooh, oh, so we don't. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Janelle, look at this. Mm -hmm. We don't get a swivel here at the waist. It just looks weird to me. Yeah, I Stop. thought we were going to get that. That's why it looks like that. Janelle, you were right on the ball on that one. There is no swivel here at the waist. Is he just meant to bend? Yeah, he's just meant to do that. 
Uh, so the swivel is the upper part here. So if you look at the old Toy Biz one, we have that there. So that hit that that swivels right there. We have three in the midsection alone. This one you have pretty much two. Should be three. Wow, and that kind of sucks. I didn't realize that. Well, I guess it's to get that perfect looking spider butt. So Well, I think it's so when you do that mid motion like swing when his legs are up high and his um This one? So you're talking about this pose, right, Janelle? And his knees are bent. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that? Yeah. So it's supposed to be easier for him to get closer into <laughs> that pose. Well, it, it does. I mean, this looks like a mm -hmm. classic Spider-Man pose. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just that it's unfortunate that we do not have that swivel. So that's the only thing that's missing. But because that's missing, we also have this. Uh, we do have the added articulation points here at the shins. Also, we have the beautiful butterfly joints that I love on all Marvel Legends. I hope, I wish they all had those, but they don't, unfortunately. Um, so they can, he can hug himself. I really like that. Let's see if he can hug himself, stuff like that. Over 20 points of articulation still. So anyway, let's get some fighting poses in or some fighting moves in. Let's do uh, PlayStation 1 kick combo. And of course we have to have the punch combo, which is hup, hup. Huh. And that looks really good. Yeah, I'd have to say there's nothing really wrong. To some people, someone said in the in chat, they don't like that. Janelle, what do you think? Be honest. Do you, do you wish he had that? It does make his hips look really weird, huh? <laughs> A little bit, but I honestly think his, his thighs and hips don't look as bad as Green Goblin's. Really? Let's take that Green Goblin. I don't know. I like the way this Green Goblin looks. When he's standing up, uh -huh. it looks different. Yeah, it looks different. Okay, okay. That's fair. Let's look at accessories. We are almost done here. We get a squinty eye face. Do you know, take us to top cam. Get a squinty eye face right there. So he's like, hmm. And of course, we have the much needed close fist Spider Man hands. All right, let's go to the front cam. Let's outfit this guy. Let's take off these web shooter hands. There you have it. That looks really cool. And there you have it, squinty-eyed. Like, hmm, what's going on over there? All right, I have to say, pretty good Spider-Man figure. A little disappointed with the waist, but you know what? I have all the other articulation points, which I like. All right, everyone, give us a moment. Give me a moment. I will answer your questions as I am posing all of these up. All right, let's come to a conclusion. Now that I have these all set up, is this worth it? Yes, I have to say I am absolutely loving the retro Spider-Man set. I am digging this set. Oh, man. Uh, if there's anything negative, I have to say, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that we do not get a waist swivel for a good old web head there, but that's fine. I mean, it's a good looking classic retro Spider-Man. He has more articulation points than everyone else in the set, which is a plus. Uh, it's a good looking Spider-Man figure, regardless. Everyone else looks fantastic. I haven't had very many paint issues. Everyone looks good. I think Janelle will agree with me on this one. The worst one in the set is probably Gwen. <laughs> no? It's a tie between Gwen and Peter Parker's glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are two small things you're just you're just gonna have to deal with when just you buy the heads. Yeah, just switch <laughs> the heads. Problem. Exactly. Okay. So there you have it. I think this set is definitely a go. Where can you get this at? www.dstartoys.com. That's right, you can get the set at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos. And everyone on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01, I will be answering all your questions there. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!
Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here. Not there. Right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here. Right there. Right here. Yeah.